Hello and welcome to the new and improved dad's house. Um, the battery in the camera is now alive. Before it was dead. Hence new and improved. And we were sad. Well now we're not. It may die again. So, uh... In the spirit of redundancy, I'd like to introduce everyone again. <laughs> My name is Joe. Brett. Heather. Heather again. Again. Adam. So, on this week's show, we're going to have random conversations that offshoot into other places, and it's not going to follow any linear form, because who needs that shit? Point A and point B is good from about 9 to 6. After that, circles are okay. So, <laughs> Becky... She's an artist, she's also a karate master, sexual deviant, she also runs a shipyard, <laughs> and she beats up hobos for beer money. Hell yeah! I got beer, don't I? Adam is a world-class musician, recording artist, dancer. He is the master of the flapjack, the wrestling move, and the food. And the instrument. And he's an enthusiast of chips. Not betting chips, the but show. chocolate chips. And the show. <laughs> Peanut butter chips. More so the Everyone show. loves the show. show. Everyone loves the show yeah. chips. Yeah. Eric Estrada, come on. I thought it was a woman my whole life. I never like put the name of the Eric Estrada. I thought it was a girl named Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada. Eric Estrada. They're like, I'm like, why are all these dudes? I'm like, all these dudes fucking talking about Eric Estrada and then I saw some little brown man. And I was like, I'm like, he's not right, I guess, but Jesus Christ, he's gone down. She's so manly. She's a little manly. She ain't all that. <laughs> she had a very clean shaven face. <laughs> She's a handsome woman. <laughs> so one of the things that I've seen in, in my travels, in my bedroom, on the computer. <laughs> <laughs> in the great is, wide world. Wide web. These people are posting this picture of like some like kids' legs are all burned and they're saying like fucking these huggies diapers did this shit. And all these people are like, fuck hockey's, and all these people are boycotting hockey's. And then you go look it up, and it's actually not true or substantiated. Just one psychotic woman called up and said that this happened to her kid. Because yeah. Pampers paid her to say this? Yeah, no. Defile the good name of Huggies. It's because this woman, <laughs> woman probably a retard, had her kid fucking wearing like little Wayne tight jeans, looking fashionable. Snapping in a diaper, moving around, pissing itself. Well, got... Why these babies shouldn't be wearing tight ass jeans, man? Stop trying to be cool, baby. It's like, first of all, you're not supposed to fucking wear a diaper with pants for long. Like, it's supposed to be, it's not an undergarment. You're also not supposed to Should I change them? Fire, so, I mean, you know. What? You know, that, that, what's setting your kid on fire? It's up to the parent at that point, you know? I think this kid needs to learn some respect. Last leg's on fire. But like, but like, people are so quick to fucking like jump on the side of something that they've neither researched. They yeah. believe everything <clears throat> they yep. see. And it's like, dude, memes are funny. Some of them, you know. There's some. I like. I think it's fantastic that we live in an age where there's so much technology and there's just like so much information and it's easy to be able to do this. But at the them. same time, it's like. Everything that's good is also kind of shitty, and the shitty part is that you have a oh, bunch yeah. of people fucking just spewing nonsense yeah. all over the And people believe this and shit, And people dude. take yeah. sides on it, like, fucking, like, dude, <clears throat> like, this one, like, I've made a joke of it since it was obviously fucking bogus after looking into it for five minutes, you know what I mean? I made a joke, I posted the thing, and then I fucking made a joke about how... You know, it serves these little fuckers right. You know, fucking always got their way. You deserve napalm on your fucking legs. You know? I don't think that's bad. Fucking burns build character. I fucking dropped it. I was two, I dropped a fucking glass bottle of apple juice. I stepped in some glass. I cried for a little bit. Fucking, they lifted me up, took some glass out of my feet, and I lived. You know? Fucking. I poured a whole pot of coffee on my sister. It was an accident. I was a baby. Like, I remember it. I thought I like get the pot of coffee or something. I was under, a, there was a little table a baby with a coffee 17. pot on it. And I went under the table. I had a, had a uh, tablecloth and I just yanked it. And the whole oh. thing, like, she had like burns all over her lap and everything. Did you stand in her doorway? I started out evil already. Did you stand in her doorway while she was like recovering? Like, no, I don't remember that much. <laughs> <laughs> I, seriously, I seriously was like one or two, I'll and my mom can not remember that. But I, I, I remember being under the table, I think because her screams were so 
So, so, so whenever she's at a restaurant and the waiter's like coughing, ah! <laughs> cold water. Oh yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I fell out of my high chair onto a terrazzo floor, so yeah. yeah. Which Didn't is, do any lasting damage or anything. <laughs> Built character. What she's not showing is the giant dent in her back. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about that in the family. We don't talk about my tail either, okay? <laughs> no. it's like, I talk about your tail all the time. <laughs> Ooh, girl. Girl, that tail. It's just like, man, like, fucking... I can understand like something like the onion where they sit there and like it's oh, kind that's of, hilarious. they're kind of obviously fucking with people premises. People believe it though. Yeah. People believe that it's like ridiculous shit, and people fucking believe it. But it's they like, believe it. but that's people being stupid. Those are the people that when I find out like you know like fucking this guy would like die in a car accident, it's like oh we lost someone who would work at the gas station. It sucks, you know, but you move on. But, <clears throat> I just don't understand why someone would sit there and deliberately put shit out to just fucking fuck with people. Trolls. Where's the Arthur clip? <laughs> Where's the Arthur clip? <laughs> oh shit. Do you guys remember the cartoon Arthur? Yeah. Yeah. Do, 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 that was Doug. No, that's Doug. Oh, Doug, sorry. He was like an aardvark. I guess. Yeah, I found these out today, but apparently he's an aardvark. Yeah. But he doesn't look like he looks like a teddy bear or something. I don't know. But I, I I knew about the cartoon, but I never watched it. It was one of those like PBS cartoons or whatever. But well, like we're watching it today. Like there's actually funny ass clips in it that you wouldn't. It's just like witty. But this one clip someone put up is so fucking funny. Hey, hold on a minute. Oh, where are we going? Now? And it really explains everything. It's like, dude. And I don't know when this cartoon came out. What is it? Nineties or something. How do you know if any of this stuff is true? What do you mean? How do you know someone didn't just make it up? <laughs> you really think someone would do that? <laughs> just go on the internet and tell lies? <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's what happens. <laughs> but even on Arthur, it's like, well, why wouldn't they just make it up? <laughs> do you think someone would do that? <laughs> why? Why would someone why? go on the internet and make up? <laughs> like, I mean, obviously, if someone's like making money on it, but it's like, a, like at what point? Like, I just want to know the point where you like sell your soul completely out. Like, where you fucking just say, you know what? Fuck it. Like, fucking. Look. Like what? What girl broke your heart, or what friend betrayed you, or what job fired you, or what happened in your life? <laughs> fucking what aunt or uncle died? You know, like just what, make, yeah. what was the catalyst for well, you to become a fucking heartless that. prick that would just ruin lives <laughs> for your own gain? Like, like, like that. Who knows? Maybe Pampers wasn't was behind that. Maybe they maybe did. Maybe it was a Pampers yeah, smear complaint. Yeah, well, like, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Just a Pampers is used to oh, no, smear. He's got the got, got like some fucking, some some evil Pampers. fucking guy in a suit sitting in a fucking boardroom with a dirty diaper. Fools! <laughs> <laughs> like, you know? Just a cog in the diaper machine. Third quarter sales are down. Silence! We will <laughs> use the internet. <laughs> there might be some truth behind that, though. But I mean, like, I don't want sure if it is, but yeah. I just have a hard time believing that they make a diaper where it would be that easy for the fucking liquids to come together or even have the same liquids in there. Well, that that's the thing. Yeah, why would you put burns? something in a diaper that's going to burn a child? It seems you know? so <laughs> irresponsible that on like a mass scale, like they would just fucking fire a fucking bazooka at the fucking Huggies <laughs> plant yeah. and just fucking be like, oh man, you guys fucking like just take it down. Like I, I like, but maybe their excuse would be like, well, if you change your child enough, that wouldn't happen. See, I think the kid was sleeping with pants on and like fucking rubbed its legs were all like had like tights because people dress their kids like adults for some nah, reason. No, I the they picture like that they kids are action figures. The picture that they showed <laughs> had like blotches. They were like these big red blotches. But like, who knows if the kid like, bu like, who knows if they burned the their kid? They something. could have burned their kid. DCF. Or they were like yeah. probably worried about DCF coming. The diaper did it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm been like, like <laughs> fucking, it was just napping. But fucking, meanwhile, fucking dad's drunk. Like, I'm gonna sit you on the stove real quick while I change your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna spit a pot of fucking coffee. <laughs> ah, you burnt his whole asshole off. <laughs> 
<laughs> and it's like, we're going to blame the diapers. We ain't going to the jail again. And we're not losing our fifth kid. I'm pooped out. Like, okay. <laughs> but, like, these are the kind of people that would do this shit. You know what I mean? Like, fuck it. I just think it's too suspect. There'd be babies all over this country with fucking napalmed fucking genitals and assholes to where fucking they'd be blowing <laughs> up fucking honey. Like, that, yeah. that. It would be more than just one isolated case where this woman's making such a fucking big deal. The other thing is the kid's fucking legs. He looks like he's like six years old. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, you can't write really right. I think they're math breathers. That's just my <laughs> personal opinion. They are. That's they my are. personal opinion. <laughs> I think they breathe from their mouth. And they're not doing sports. Just sitting around. <laughs> Children. Well, they got a bigger problem. Their kid is six and he's shitting his pants. Yeah. <laughs> Tackle that problem and figure out how to it later. I shit my pants because I fear success. <laughs> okay. I don't know what those words mean to that over boy. <laughs> Put your huggies on. But I don't know, man. Like, where do you. Where do you look to for news? Like, what do you, what make, what, what, what gives you, and like, do you feel any validity in anything you see? Or like me personally, I, I have gut feelings on things, but I take it as far as that. But I feel like if I wasn't there or wasn't behind the scenes and di didn't really know, like everything's a question of faith at that point. It's like even if all signs point one way, it's like, like. It's, you really don't know. It's like it's like when the creationists and atheists fucking go at each other and shit. It's like you both make some strange points on either side. No, they just make a lot more yes. sense because no one just said, "Hey, here he is. See you later." You know, and fucking that hasn't happened yet. And them using like a banana and saying, "Well, the banana was perfectly made for a man's hand." You know, like that's, that's my best God, like that kind of shit. Like fucking Kirk Cameron and fucking Ray Wise. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But a banana is perfectly made for your butt, too. But that doesn't mean that somebody <laughs> created for these yeah. things and See? purposes. And you should go on the fucking the talking circuit and go talk to the Christians and be like, I have a rebuttal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use my butt and do it. Jesus Christ, it's Sound Earth Man Game already in this church. <laughs> But man, like, like what? So what? What lens? Like, what? What will make like you think? Like, like, is there like any source that you go to to for news? I try or to avoid it, honestly. Right on. I try to avoid it as best I can. I mean, you know, you have to. That's beautiful. You have to know somewhat what the fuck is going on, and like. But if it doesn't personally affect you. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you still. I, I feel the same way you do, man. Go on gut instincts and like make your own decisions. Don't fucking let people tell you what's what, and you know. I think it's funny you're like, you know, bringing up these points about the internet and what story is bullshit. We don't know. You know, it's like, okay, we have this tool that lets you see the world. You can see the entire world through, but you still have to make your own decision. It's yeah. not telling you what's what, you know what I mean? You can read the story and go, man, this is fucked up, and then do research and say, but uh, it was bullshit. Somebody yeah. fucking made it. Mm -hmm. And then somebody two seconds later you say, no, it wasn't bullshit. Look at this page, because this web page says that, and it's a reliable source. And then somebody could say that one's full of shit. Yeah. You still have to make up your own. It's lines. a never ending. Exactly. It's never going to tell you I, what's the. What's and now we have Photoshop, so you can't even believe what you see. That's exactly. Right. Same with me, yeah, and like exactly. everyone, I'm sure a lot of your news comes first from Facebook or something. And then you Steven see Cooper. someone post something, and either you can <laughs> believe right then what's there. Or you could do your research from there, and half the time it's like just like the diaper thing. It's bullshit. Yep. You know, people are fucking. That's lazy. how much you want to actually look. But the thing is, is even the sites that you're researching. Like if you go, okay, I went to Wikipedia, and it told me this that it's bullshit. But that's just someone else exactly. posting their opinion on that subject. So then from there, there's links, and you can go from there. And then sometimes there's even scientific, you know, science sites, or, you know, or medical places that'll tell you what's really going on. That's but right. in the long run, who even knows if those are real? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, you see shit like, uh, the other day, the, big, the new big story is Andy Kaufman might be alive. Oh, I don't God. know if you guys have seen that. That's, like, that's the new shit that's going on right now. Yep, he's alive and well on <laughs> Be his plan too. Look, like so many years after I'm dead, I want you to say that I really am alive and that I faked my death. That could be part you of his master know, plan too. You never you know. Ready? I mean, he was. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Andy's master plan. Oh, I'm good for now. It'll make me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 we wouldn't no. want that. Just then you're, you're gonna have to leave because you know that's like. 
you have to smoke while you're on this show? All right, well, I'll hit it once then. Well, we'll wait. We'll wait next time around. <laughs> okay. We're gonna wait till it's quiet time. Yeah. That's our, okay, that's that's our other quiet show. Time? This is our other show. We're gonna use our inside. Give nap time. You play a music box and we all sleep. Inside that's, voices. <laughs> it's a two-hour yeah. show where everyone just kind of sits around the table and doesn't say a word. It's well, just understood. I had nap time. I went to a Southern Baptist Today, school for a couple years. Experience. And we had nap time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do it. We had Everybody's nap time. Like, wait, maybe flashback to nap time. I gotta get this nap time story out. Yeah. Southern Baptist, Hellfire, Brimstone, break, bring in your Kiss albums, bring in all these albums, we're gonna burn the whole thing. And like, we'd have nap time. But even that was like a brutal, you know, just terrible. Go to sleep! <laughs> and like, you would have to like lay on one side and God, for, use the term loosely, forbid that you would turn your head. They'd be like walking around with a ruler and smack the desk next to you. Like, turn your head, face that way. Like, you have to face it. Like, <laughs> yeah, don't that's, sleep, that's but right take a nap, here. but don't really sleep and turn your head. God smack. doesn't like side sleepers. And those are the, <laughs> and the devil's side is the left side. You don't want to sleep on the left side. Oh, now that I remember it, it was on the right side too. <laughs> oh. So why you telling me that I can't I think my mom went to Catholic school and she got out now. 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 And the, the nun or whatever the sister would not oh, that's let her. Sinful. They wouldn't let her. She, and all like for like, the whole time, she was like, "I'm real. I'm gonna pee my pants." And she was like, "Nope, you you cannot go." So she peed her pants. Of course, Good for her, man. Yeah. I threatened to piss in my math teacher's garbage can one time. He wouldn't <laughs> let me go. I was like, yeah. "I gotta go." He's like, "Nope, you got 20 minutes left in the lesson." I'm like, "I'm gonna come piss in your garbage can." I mean, and this was back his, in the day, so now they have to, though. They can't, they yeah. cannot stop it's terrible. him from going His dad got hit over the head, a nun, oh, hit him over the head the with one of those big nun yeah. bells that they uh -huh. ringed. What did he sneeze, no, no, right? No, he had his hands in his pocket. That's right, he had his he hands in his pocket. He was standing on the lunch line. Probably was there was line, something sinful in that and pocket. He was on the lunch line and decided to put his hands in his pocket. Wasn't thinking, you know. Just, just chilling. Yeah. She fucking came up behind him. Bang! Right in the head. What a better way to have people believe your religion than to, to be in submission. <laughs> Jesus don't like pockets. Like, what does that yeah. mean? Knowing your what dad. That, what does that mean? They're like, dude, it's like your hands your dad close to your journals. Journals. Like, That was in the QV. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's like, these fucking motherfuckers are sitting here going, no, you want to get in the kingdom of heaven with us? It's like, Hell has all the good bands. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell's record collection's way better. It's warm, <laughs> temperate. <laughs> like you know, like fucking. The orgies cool are better in hell. Yeah, exactly. yeah, they say that. It's like much everything is a sin. So it's like, wouldn't you think that you you go to hell and all your friends would be there? That was a sin. Yeah, they're like you're living in sin. Out, I'm like, well, well, I guess it's gonna be the same when I die. And there's like two or three guys in heaven that are like, did, never did anything wrong in their entire there. life. Some and one nervous like, woman. I'm like, glad I just <laughs> didn't, didn't do shit my whole life. <laughs> I'm glad I wore my special Mormon underwear. <laughs> That's why the Jehovah's Witnesses are going That's all real, isn't me. it? Make fun of them through the wall. This is not the second time I heard that. Is that real Mormon underwear? Yeah, that is. It's special oh, underwear. Shit. Yeah. What? what I haven't heard they, of that yet. What does it have? Holy water in it or something? No, it's like, man, <laughs> dude, it's made of Kevlar, and there's this one Mormon preacher. He goes, and like they give yeah, this really dramatic, they put on the music, like the Forrest Gump, like dramatic music, and he's like, I tell you what, brothers and sisters. <laughs> The fires were burning in my house. My family was out of town, and I was asleep by myself in my bedroom. And when I felt the flames of the devil take my body over, it burnt every piece of hair and clothing on my body. <laughs> Except for my own. Except for where my magic underwear was. <laughs> Buy like, a fucking nine volt and get them. Dude, but our Mormons like uh, are, uh, what is it called? Polygamous? Some of them are. Some of them are. Some of them I are. thought the Mormons had like multiple wives. Some of them do. So one of the Christians are Mormon underwear would be no that. underwear. Oh, like a lot Mormon of underwear is you know, down with it. Some of those girls are like 13, 14, yeah, like that's four, seven up, into that's it. The that's the just like, up. okay, that's fucked up. And all because of what's his name, John Smith, or what is that? Oh yeah, Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Don't 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 I think the longer there is, if you're fucking like old enough to buy a cell phone, you're old enough to fucking get married. Like fucking, oh, you're 13, you have a cell phone, hey. <laughs> get out of here. I'm like, not ready. Right? <laughs> yeah, to Old enough to pee, old enough for me. That's what I'm saying. But I don't want to marry that so man. Fucked up. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Welcome to Utah, sweetie.
The mod is the other way. Grass on the field, marry her at 13. That's what I always say. <laughs> I'm going to put so much pregnancy in you. <laughs> Dude, what about that great, what the great balls of fire guy? What's that guy? Oh, Jerry, Jerry Lewis. Lewis. Jerry Lewis. He married his 14 year old cousin. Sometimes uh, that's where life takes you. <laughs> Dude, and her dad came into, her dad busted happen? into fucking, her dad busted into his son's studios and held the fucking studio hostage. To get, a, to get to, they thought Jerry was in there. He came in with a fucking gun and <laughs> held up the entire session <laughs> and fucking held everybody hostage. I'm gonna show you great balls of fire. Did, did he get arrested for that? No, no, it wasn't, it, no. It was, he never got arrested. There was still law. Well, at least then, I don't right? think he did. Yeah, no, that was straight back then. It was like Jerry Lee Lewis, man. It's like Michael Jackson fucks some kids, fucking. They but he's heart Michael Jackson. No, see, there's yeah, never been no okay. proof. Like, they didn't catch him. Want to know proof? This guy was like, right. this is so my kid's asshole government. at nine years old is this big. You want to know about He food? had a secret room. One push shit. That and had alarms would go off if anybody came near that room. Near it. And he would take children in that room to spend the night and cuddle. Yep. And there was, what, an alarm if anyone came near the Dude, secret room? Dude, I'm sorry. Room? If you have a secret room, you're doing secret things in the secret room. Exactly. I like Michael Jackson. I, I like him. We still like his music. Hey, you can't That's say. You can't you say. But he can dance and sing. There's no way. I think that guy. Like, yeah. He lost his childhood. Dude, if he I had, he had a childhood, I'm not I think he liked having these kids. He had a fucking amusement park and on his property. That's what right, a better you know? way to fuck. That's yeah. how he relived his childhood. The fucking girl likes a coach. I think that the Paris girl likes a coach. I think that was fucked up. And I think he should have been like the roller coaster. But you're gonna get some. But I really, I don't think, I don't think he ever fucked up in the ass because they. Would scream home to mommy, he fucked me. No, because well, he, no, he, he had a child's that. mind, so he was probably at a prepubescent thing where we're yeah. gonna like, we're, we're gonna, gonna touch, touch. Right. yeah, that yeah, I, like it was probably like. I think know, the guy fucked up that far, but. life, and that's and he was Dude, fucked he up, absolutely yeah. did. but I don't think he was raping. No, I don't think he raped him, but I think I'm he was sure doing he shit him. he probably shouldn't have. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And but you know, I'm pretty sure they. Dude, that kid was. Think about it, man. He was forced by his father to do the. What other five, that's like, that's why he that's why he had all that plastic surgery is so he can make himself look less like Joe every day. And self hate. Yeah. Just yep. self hate because he was doing fucked up shit and knew it. Yeah. I remember in the in like the not early nineties he claimed that he had some kind of like skin disorder. He did have this skin and disorder. he would have these, I these think operations have to, to help. He would have scars or you know, discolors. Yeah, but I'm sorry, this dude looked like a fucking his yeah, nose fell whack ass then, alien by <laughs> the time the shit was over. Yeah. I think. I mean, there's, there's dude. There's killed. theories that he that That's the government think, killed yeah. Michael Jackson. The doctor killed I, him, and the doctor I, paid off by something. I think. Family. I think the family killed him because you're worth more dead than alive. Yeah, because they fucking, squabbled over his and shit. He, and, he yeah. wasn't, and he wasn't doing okay with fucking with like being able to keep up for the torture. They probably dosed that motherfucker, dropped dead. Fucking probably fucking. Dude, there are people, change, there are people that say he faked his own death because of the, the shit with the kids. There's no way he was going to come he's back. He's in like from that. fucking the Philippines, yeah. just fucking like wearing a kid like a cop. <laughs> <laughs> the way you make me feel! Like killing it. Like a fucking animal, just fucking kids all over the floor, fucking dead. And Michael Jackson's fucking. Everything's glitter and fucking secrets. <laughs> it's like, are you pleased, Mr. Jackson? <laughs> Child bearskin rug. Oh. <laughs> In the Philippines, it's so much more easy. You don't even need giraffes. <laughs> the, the parents is giving the kids for a little bit of oatmeal. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I guess maybe also too. Like, think about like how jaded celebrities got to be. It's like like when you have enough money, where it's like. I want to go to like fucking an island that can only fit three people on. It's like yes, sir, right away, private jet, right on that bitch. They build you a fucking white castle on the fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> These people got money. It's like at some point, like, oh, Michael, Michael gets up and has his coffee and shit. He's on the computer, like, what's left? What's left? And then fucking like looks outside, like the neighbor kids are fucking playing. He's got like a telescope and she's like, I think I'm gonna fuck some children. <laughs> like how you gotta get maybe like you get jaded with like when you've done everything. It's like I had a pet monkey. Like, fuck, you know what I mean? Like, fucking... It just comes from being out of touch. What I want to know is, who owns the Beatles songs now? <laughs> They're about to become... Uh, Does Yoko domain. own part of yeah. it? Yoko is part of it, but, like, after 50 years, right, songs, become, become songs become public domain, and you don't have to pay for them. Nobody actually... Technically, there's a copyright holder, yeah. but he doesn't make any more royalties. You don't make any more royalties after songs after 50 years because they become public domain. So, like... That would be like if somebody uh, sings if somebody okay. sings Happy Birthday, whoever wrote Happy Birthday isn't making money. 
No, you know because I mean? that still isn't public <laughs> domain. Good, because that's because on television awful, shows, they, can in sitcoms right. and stuff, they cannot sing Happy Birthday. Yeah, yeah. No. Dude, I, I, there was the some show I was just watching, and they used to make fun of it. They're like, okay, it's her birthday. Happy, no, not PD. And then they're like, have a happy birthday to oh, you. Maybe they're making a joke. Like though. Futurama, they don't sing it because that woman who wrote that is still alive and gets royalties on the happy birthday song every time it's used oh. on our show. I'm telling you, man. Nine times out of ten, that show will sing it. They sing really it. They weird. do sing happy birthday. It's or it's another. Happy maybe they birthday. made a, made an exception of the rule because I know that the 50 no, year rule is. That's why I was saying. Really, I don't know action. that. But maybe that's coming up. I don't know how long. The rule. It, it is that coming. The happy up, birthday yeah. song's been out. Well, well, we got to think of the Beatles stuff, man. Like, okay, that was when were the Be what When did the Beatles break up? Like, what year did the Beatles 70. break up? In 70? 1970? Yeah, they went 64 to 70. So. Do you see that? Anything before, uh, what would it be? <laughs> yeah, all that Beatles shit's about to be public domain, dude. Wow. Yeah, I was just thinking where, you know, where that would go. I don't need to sell my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of selling things, we're gonna go to a quick commercial break for uh, our sponsor, Carl Russo. Hello, I'm uh, children's bike mechanic Carl Russo and uh, from North Patterson, Jersey and I came out with the surprises New York Times bestseller. I wrote a book and uh, it's a dating guide for the, uh, it's for the guy that's not the best looking guy in the block, you know? Your face looks like a coffee cake, you got a fucking few extra pounds on it, you look like the fucking Michelin man. But it's alright, you know, because uh, I came up with this book, it's called Skittles, Net and Hammer. And uh, basically, I go over some easy uh, techniques to meet some people, you know. You got to do what you got to do. You know? Sometimes you, you got to get away. You just got no choice. You just got to you, you get out there. And so so uh, my, my personal favorite in the book, if you want to look it up, it's on page 218. It's uh, the dead car battery. You go miss, excuse me, my car battery's dead. Can I use your cell phone? Pull the fucking net overhead, bash in the fucking head with the hammer, take it back to the house. You know, you got to hide it from mob, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Fucking get wet. <laughs> You know, that's the whole point. You know? what, what are we fucking around here for? Why do you got a car? Why do you got a house? You know, fucking, why do you get a wet? No, I mean, fucking, otherwise we don't fucking you know, live out in the woods. Fucking take a shit in the lake. So, uh, check my book out. All right, don't be a fucking momo. Welcome back <laughs> to Dad's house. We hope you all go out and buy your copy of Skittles Net and a Hammer. It's a dating guy for the guy. Who doesn't look like the guy? Anyhow, we're back. We have the same people as when we left. And right now we're going to show one of my favorite things in the world. Just something I like to share with, with all my friends. There's a baseball player named Doc Ellis. From back in the day, he threw a no-hitter. In the major leagues on acid. And it's, this is him retelling the story with this animation. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's out of control. <coughs> Just enjoy it. We went to San Diego and I asked the manager, could I go home? Because we had an off day. So he said, yeah. So I took some LSD at the airport because I knew where it would hit me. I'd be in my own in my little area and I'd know where to go. So that's how I got to uh, my friend's girlfriend's house. She said, what's wrong with you? I said, I'm high as a Georgia Pine. <laughs> the next day, which I thought was the next day, she told me, you better get up. You got to go pitch. I said, pitch? I pitch tomorrow. Hell, what are you talking about? Because I had got up in the middle of the morning and took some more acid. She grabbed the paper, brought me the sports page, and showed me. Boom. I said, oh, wow. What happened to yesterday? <laughs> she said, I don't know, but you better get, you better get to that airport. Now this was in the 70s, and Greens was Decimil. That was uh, the drug of choice back then, was a stimulant. Over 90% of major leagues was using Decimil when I was playing. And when I got to the game, there was a lady down there in San Diego who used to always have the Bennies for me, Benzedrine, which is another stimulant. 
I went out to the, on the dugout and reached up because she was standing over the rail. She always stood over the rail and had a pretty little gold pouch. So I got the bennies, mm -hmm. went on back in the clubhouse, took them. The game started and the mist started, misty rain. So all during the game was a little mist. The opposing team and my teammates, they knew I was high, but they didn't know what I was high on. Cause they, they had no idea what LSD was other than what they see on TV with the hippies. I didn't see the hitters. All I could tell was if they was on the right side or the left side. The catcher put tape on his fingers so I could see the signals. We had a rookie on the team at that particular time named Dave Cash, and he kept saying after the first inning, he said, you got a no-no going, a no-hitter. I said, yeah, all right. And I looked. <laughs> then around the fourth inning, he'd say it again, got a no-no going. <laughs> I look, yep, but I could also feel the pressure from other players wanting to tell him to shut up. It's a superstition thing where you're not supposed to say nothing if somebody's throwing a no-hitter. There were times when the ball was hit back at me. I jumped because I thought it was coming fast, but the ball was coming slow. Third base would come by and grab the ball and threw somebody out. I never caught a ball from the catcher with two hands because I thought that was a big old ball. And then sometimes it looked small. One time I covered first base and I caught the ball and I tagged the base all in one motion. I said, oh, I just made a touchdown. <laughs> I didn't pay no attention to the to the to the score. You know, I'm trying to get the batters out. You know, I'm throwing a crazy game. I'm hitting people, walking people, throwing balls in the dirt. They're going everywhere. Now we go for the Fiesta day resistance. We move to the bottom of the ninth on a no hitter, leading to nothing. It was easier to pitch with the LSD because I was so used to medicating myself. That's the way I was dealing with the fear of failure, the fear of losing, the fear of winning. It's just that it was part of the game, you know. You get to the major leagues and you say, I, I got to stay here, what do I need? Everybody in our bullpen is standing and walking around nervously. They want to run and grab Doc. Now, two balls, two strikes, and here's the pitch. Strike three, he got it! Yeah. Yeah. Let's go right after him, he got it! There, Marvin, Doc Ellis, on a no-hitter. Fucking one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fucking things, man. That's fucking awesome. It is. Like fucking, even like the art style and everything. Like, yeah. Like Becky makes fucking some of the craziest art I've ever seen. Like the African girl in your bedroom back in the day. Like that shit used to trip me out. Like, <laughs> cause like, like me, like my crowning achievement was being able to like draw this, like, and have someone tattoo it on me. You know what I mean? Like, that's the nicest thing I've ever drawn, and it still looks like a fucking autistic kid. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like fucking like... Is there anything that you have, like, on, that we could bring up? Um, as far as art? Artwork, yeah. Anything on, like... you got art and um, on Facebook? Well, yeah, facebook.com uh, backslash art by Becky is my site. And there's, like, a shit ton of random shit that I do on there. Yeah. From body painting to the cakes to... Oh, you do cakes? Oh yeah, I do. I do a lot. Of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I do the cakes. I do Sex, neon. Sexy cakes or just. Um, I've made cake. a few dick yeah. cakes. I've probably yeah, made I think three dick cakes, <laughs> veins and everything, like really Detail detailed dick cakes. Steaks. Yeah, I can't book pictures of those on Facebook though. I, I got too many clients yeah. to do that kind of stuff. That's cool though. But yeah, I love you can pull those up. And I made a, a vagina birth cake, which I wasn't able to put on Facebook. Vagina birth it's cake. Too much. That's go. fucking. Why couldn't you make? That's it a down? detail. Of, yeah, that's like part of that. That's a seahorse or something, right? Or a sea something. Whoa. Thank So go to. Cool chair. I guess we'll go to. Well, um, yeah, you can put. Yeah, go to Bex Art and just the wall has like some of the more recent. Let's go. Wow. There's some. Yeah, that there's some body painting oh stuff. Oh my god, dude, that's sick. I have to be careful with the naked girl stuff though, because they'll flag you if there's too many naked yeah. chicks in your shit. See, not like posting. Well, why don't you just set up your own website? Um, because it costs money and I'm cheap. Yeah. And I can update this by myself. I just I do shit every week, so it's hard for yeah. me to be like, well, well, have this web person update my shit every fucking week, every other day. 
No, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a wow. costume oh, she made. Shit. That's like yeah, some, uh, it's like steampunk. Steam steam yeah, yeah, that was, I like the yeah, that's, a, that's my, um, that's my son, actually. The gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> My son That's is right. a gentleman and a scholar. He really is. He is. He's awesome. And he's a musician, which is cool. You raise a lovely, lovely young man who drinks gin and tonics. Yeah. He drinks gin and tonic! Gin and tea, he always right? like, gin and tonic. And then the drink comes and he's like, Excuse me, this is whiskey. I was like, How do you fucking know these things? Like, where did you learn this stuff? He's on the like, right track. I went to bed. He's, he's, a, he's a gentleman. <laughs> I hate gin. See, your son's the kind of guy that's gonna have like a nice like, like scotch cabinet when his friends come over. Like, like, <laughs> Can I get right, you man. a Tom Collins? It's like different than us for us. It's like, yo, you're gonna smoke this weed, otherwise we think you're fucking police. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but that's an old shot. He's got a mustache now. He's, he's <laughs> very gentlemanly, and he and he curls it. Uh, <laughs> some more body, body painting, painting without yeah. the boob. That's cool. Bye, boob. It's yeah, like the journey. Like, go to like the album of yeah, that though, because like the there's so thing. much well, what shit. Else do you have? Well, well go to the, there's, there's the paintings. Honestly, I think the paintings. The paintings. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Go to the go to the paintings. And the photos. And the albums. Oh, there's some cakes. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Shoot. Go back. Go back. Um, <laughs> the one dude, Iceman, that came out really fucking cool. Iceman came out really Ooh, cool. Crap. That's awesome. He came out cool. I fear that when I leave my bathroom tonight, when I take that final <laughs> piss, he'll be standing He'll be standing there. <laughs> <laughs> He appears in a mirror like a rainy man. Yeah. Oh no, it's you, Iceman! That's right. You're just in the bathroom and you're pee. Don't freeze my pee! You start shaking your breath and you're like, what's that? He's inside your dick. Ow! He sounds like an icicle. Yeah, he's pretty soft. <laughs> Let's see what the You froze things. my stream. Hey man, you're rubbing on my rock away. That's a cake. Yeah, that's so that's, that's a cake. Awesome. Wow, that's I awesome. watch Cake Boss. All of that's edible. So that's sick. Every bit of it's edible. Yeah, yeah. Leather looks yeah that's really completely cool. edible. Completely not the edible. Uh -huh. Every single piece of that. The shoe, the cake, everything. Not, so the plate, not the plate. Not the plate. Well, not yeah. the plate. Yeah. Not the plate. Damn, Damn it. I just the plate. Fuck that. The sky in the background. Well, you can make it out of ice and wall. I hate sky. You know my favorite kind of plate was plate cake. Why are you doing it to me? Oh my, look at this dapper gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Gentleman's choice. That's a cake zito. Cake zito. This is a formal cheesecake. Oh wait, yeah, the, the albums, and then there's like, the art album. Because I guess that's... My art, there it is, the uh... Pain that dude murals. right there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's got all the good stuff. Wow, that dog. The dog is huge. The dog yeah, is like, five by five. Yeah, that's wow. a fucking dog big, big painting, dude. Holy shit. That's in somebody's freaking bathroom. Their bathroom Sick. is like the size of my You did room. that? That's oh, yeah. fucking amazing. You did every bit of this stuff. That's incredible. I do a lot of different stuff. And I might be on a reality show soon, so just cross your fingers. I just came back from LA for final casting. For I'm not allowed to say for what. I'm not allowed to say what it is. It's some new show. It's, really it's a new yeah. show. So, but if I make it on, hopefully I will. It'll be I'll be talking about it soon. Cool. That's so fucking cool. That's, that's we'll cross our who's fingers, dog's toes, our balls. Cross everything. Man. We, have friend, we have friends in Fort Lauderdale. That's their dog, Callie. Yeah, that's their uh -huh. dog. They love their fucking dog. Yeah. This is the virtual tummy rub. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good cow. You good cow. That's cool. That was a random picture that just went off. Like the cat, we, some I guess uh, this girl's uh, the her boyfriend at the time grabbed her ass at the same time as a camera went off, uh -huh. and that was the picture that was snapped. And Becky's like, I'm gonna paint it. I immortalized so the paint. ass grab. That's in great. Paint. <laughs> That's beautiful. So that it's, was a, just it's a an ass grab immortalized. <laughs> The never ending ass. <laughs> <laughs> They're dancing to it. That's <laughs> fucking gorgeous. Thank you. Oh, that's that, a mural. That's, that's, that's huge, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's that's massive. That's a fucking tremendous A lot bit. of those pieces are massive, and they don't, I mean, you can't really tell. Yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah, that's, yeah, you see the columns next to it. But, like, they're, yeah. the height of their heads is where my head was. And then we had to do a whole dome thing above that, so it went all the way up into, like, a dome. Well, on a rickety scaffold and I'm afraid of heights. Uh -huh. So everything I do is on a fucking scaffold or a high rise or on a bucket truck or yeah. 
<laughs> you know, I've done fucked up high height shit, and I've had to See, deal with that. You're like a true fucking artist. You do music. You I shut it out and just do it. You bake. It's like right. out of I'm control. a Renaissance woman. Yeah, you can see how big oh, it is. Yeah. But we ended up doing a sky in that yeah. dome part. That's awesome. It almost makes you want to say, fuck my blinds off. I know someone down the block who could have done that shit. Yeah. Do <laughs> so a fresco. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, there's a lot of great artists out Michelangelo's there. Michelangelo's yeah. okay. I'm more impressed by Caravaggio. But for an time period. Caravaggio sounds like a chop made that up. You know? <laughs> Caravaggio makes me hungry. <laughs> it does. It sounds like a sex car. Yeah. <laughs> I like his interplay with dark and light. Mmm, dark chocolate. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> white chocolate. Goes out of my back banging in the Caravaggio. <laughs> Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's at the airport in Fort, Fort Myers. It's just Whoa. a sky piece. <laughs> Chad, we got a commission to do like a couple of pieces for them. Cool. Unreal, man. Yeah, that's awesome. The columns are the whole thing's painted. That's not. It was just a flat wall. Like there's yeah. no columns there. If I ever get like a yeah, lot like, of money. I kind of thought that they were there for a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the idea. Yeah, that's awesome. That, that's my uh, yeah, the whole that thing. The, the plan for a sec, you know, look, it looks real. You should make the wall of puppies. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the most beloved artist. Is the lamp there or is, or is that? The lamp's there. The lamp's there. It blends well. If you painted that lamp in, they would be more impressed. Yeah. Oh, okay. Get it on. <laughs> Let you through to the next round <laughs> of who wants to paint my house. <laughs> is that what the show is? That would be a fucking great show, right? I was going to say, I'm under contract. They'll fucking sue the shit out of me if I talk about it in public. The next portion of the show is going to be uh, dedicated to the word beep. <laughs> yeah, right? Leave it out. They're watching. Uh, I feel like they're watching. They're watching my beep, life. Beep, they're watching beep, me already. They have to put the black box over her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've just, already said too much. Everyone's oh, going to get shot after this. Mechanical snail. I remember him. <laughs> That's cool. That's a massive piece, too, man. It's like six feet long, I think. Did you, did you ever get a tattooing at all? I actually gave him my first tattoo yeah. that I ever did on his leg. I thought he was fucking crazy. Like, he had known me, what, like a year? Yeah. Knew me like a year. My brother bought me a tattoo machine and was like, if I buy you a machine, will you tattoo me? And I'm like, well, I've never done it, but I'll try. And then Adam's like, you can practice on me. I'm like, are you fucking nuts right now? I let Joey do that with he me. He let me do it. Yeah. You're crazy. I, like I would have never let Joey. somebody that didn't know like Did... tattooing. I'm like a fucking pussy. I would be Joey like. Joey had never <laughs> tattooed before. And I don't know if you can see that. Little happy face on no my shit. leg. No yeah, see? That was it. I just drew it on my leg and I was like, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I was like, go ahead. And it, that's what came out. And, she did and then this. he did this and that. He did the skull too? And the dice. Yeah, he did that. Oh, that's cool. The, the dice are really fucking clean, dude. Yeah, yeah, it needs a little. Except when you look at them close and you see that they look like I have Parkinson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have Parkinson's. They're CeeLo dice. They're four by six. Yeah. It's CeeLo. It came out good though, man. He just notes. wanted like a band of yeah, like, notes so going up and down. That's rad. So real yeah. simple. No, that's awesome. Yeah. When I came down his shin, I forgot to load the machine and like no, I came no to his shin. Yeah. I know, and he was like, like "Oh, yeah, it was doing? a bitch," and, and I was like, "Oh fuck, I forgot to put ink in it." And he's like, "Come back to it. Just come back to it." Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 He did. He needed a minute. I was like, "Oh, you could be." I can sit, dude. You could be an amazing tattoo artist because Joey and and. I'm not 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 to insult him. This is not an insult at all. He is not an artist. No. If you ask, if me and him were to sit down, and he was to draw a picture explaining this moment. There'd be stick figures, probably. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So you're good at like, like copying me. something. But like he you would, could look he at something. He copy was just it. You know, like I'm not good at art at all. Like as far yeah, as yeah, you seem like art. you are though from the things that I see. The, like the, he was a good tracer. No, 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 no. He was a good tracer. You can yeah. trace and you yeah. got See that, that, but see that proves you to tattoo control. people that anyone can tattoo. It's not true. But you have well, no, there are tattoo. better. Anyone if you're can tattoo. Better not everyone can tattoo well. well you have hand but control, anyone and that's can tattoo. Exactly. Yes. Hand control is half the battle. Anyone can can do it. Anyone can slash tattoos as long as you have a steady hand. If you could, if you can color in the fucking lines, you can tattoo. Because it's tracing. Yeah, it's essentially I am tracing. Do you want to know what it all came down? Adding a flare that makes you the artist. He was tattooing my stomach, and I'm watching him do it. And I go, I can do this. And he goes, There's no way I can do this. And yeah. You know Dean, then you know. I know Dean. Oh, I know Dean. <laughs> I know Dean. <laughs> I know Dean. Then, you know, years. When Dean tells like, you, No, you yeah. can't. I love Dean. Dean's one of my close, close friends. But DB Corpse. Check but like, I'm like, come on, like, you're like, Dean will take his shit and then be like, that was the best shit anyone's ever taken. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's like <laughs> Dean. And, and like fucking Dean might be right because fucking. 
that bathroom, fucking the tiles would switch which one was black on my head. <laughs> <laughs> so then I fucking went on the internet, on Amazon, got a machine, and I tattooed flowers on my thigh. So I wanted to do something fruity, yeah. you know, because that was the style at the time. <laughs> and I came in, I go, dude, check out these flowers. He goes, oh, who did those? And I go, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, his mentor saw the heart that I did on Brett's arm. I was like, oh, who did that? That looks really good. Before the color. And yeah. fucking, and dude, it's, like, so funny. And Routine's like, it's not good. And fucking, and he's like, it looks pretty good for someone who's not a yeah. tattooer. He's like, that yeah. When he did the outline, this was just, he had like a bunch of flash, and I was like, ah, give me a tattoo. We're sitting in my room watching Family Guy or some bullshit. And he was like, all right, I'm like, just put that on me. It's like the typical sword Sabre. through the heart, yeah. pain, you know? I was like, whatever. I don't care. Fuck it. Do it. It was just a duty. And <laughs> the outline was, was great. I mean, there was a couple of spots where he went off, you know, whatever. But but he got this cheap color, this like it's not staying. Kids do you know. You cannot wear crayons and do tags with them. Like, <laughs> like this part of it. You, you can't use Bob's Easter like, dye to do your tags. Rip heels off, bro. Like, yeah. Do he not wasn't use as good to, panic. Get, to hammer in all this color. All the red, nothing stayed. Like this was yeah. like a light, like beige and yellow. It never stayed. It looks like I've had this tattoo for like fucking Dude, 10 years. I've got years a tattoo on my fucking on the back of my neck that was done by a, ta a professional tattooer that's blow out all over it. Yeah. Yeah, no. Dude, was I have Dean. Dean tattoos like crazy and I have some of his first works <laughs> on me and you know he needs to finish them. That's another thing if you're watching. Dean. Dean finish his tattoos. Finish our Dean. tattoos. We were his fucking <laughs> Dean show. And when he got his show, you can tattoo me live. And He's going to be like, the pay care. me, motherfuckers. Okay. Yeah, now he is. Yeah. I'm like, dude, you told me you would finish my whole sleeve by the time you give me this much and didn't finish half of the shit. We're gonna get some fucking small kids from the high school. We're gonna have them fucking hold the skin for you, a machine in each hand, mm -hmm. and fucking take care of business, Dean. I don't care if it's all scribble. Just come on. You can come have on. people like hold the skin back. Look, this you still, this is your first tattoo. This is the first one he did. Dean's first tattoo. And still no fucking finished. words on the piece of paper right there. You hear that, Dean? Dean? You guys want this yet? Nah, you can't. Don't be pumped <laughs> out. I'll take one we'll, out. Yeah, why not? Wait till the next one because it's almost done. Okay. <laughs> You don't want no part of it. We might get quiet. <laughs> Is it addictive? No. Hey, the shit could kill Bob Martin. <laughs> it wasn't soccer. Wait, did you ever tell Joey about the joke about um how Tanner was like talking about Ryan Weaver getting more rock and like you yes. guys were like because they're all yeah, rocking his yeah and he's we like just get out of here Ryan Weaver this story. is rock you don't want no part of this <laughs> <laughs> he's like is it addictive yes <laughs> dude the last show we had was so fucking crazy I heard like, dude I talked to Tanner after I talked to you and he was like dude he told me the whole fucking he was like Ryan had been drinking for about seven hours oh, <laughs> got hammered. You wanna know why? Because it's a song thing, dude. Oh, no! <laughs> I fucking dude. hate country music. He got, oh, it's completely, a motherfucking he got song completely thing. hammered. And he got completely hammered and like, he said some crazy shit apparently. Oh and god, like, it was the most beautiful thing. He I said said some it's on tape, right? right? It's recorded, right? I don't, know. I don't know. Joey made right. that motherfucker. Somebody had that. to have had a camera. Dude, he said them. some crazy <laughs> shit. And what Tanner told me that I didn't know is that these two people who just backed him with like 10 grand were there. <gasps> And they were probably like, what the fuck? <laughs> they loved it though. Yeah, the, the, the lady, the people that backed him with that 10 grand were from the next town of mine in fucking New York. And no the, shit, where were they from? They're from uh, East Rockaway. I was in Limbro. Yeah. So we started bullshitting, and I'm like, so you're New Yorkers that just act like hillbillies. Like, That's <laughs> fucking awesome. And so me and the husband start talking, and he's like, <coughs> fucking crazy shit, you know, flying private jets to the Bahamas. You know, yeah. fucking They're fucking you, loaded. You know what you do when you fly a private jet to the Bahamas? You're not fucking, you don't own, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. he, he, he got his start fucking doing it right, fucking Pacino, you know? <laughs> and like, they were fucking cool people, they were cool as fuck, so once we fucking were like, okay, there's like common ground, dude, we're partying in the fucking RV and shit. He said they were cool about it, but like, still, like. You can't say that shit, no. <laughs> But you know what, though? Maybe Ryan Weaver can. <laughs> Ryan Weaver flew a fucking you know helicopter what? for 20 years That's for America. Do, Ryan Weaver and 50 it. caliber bullets we trust. He earned it. You know what I mean? Oh, like fucking, man. like, dude. What the fuck? <laughs>
<laughs> no, he really did, dude. He was really a fucking black hole. I believe it, but... Uh, no, dude, fucking... He, the thing that he was trying to do, he wasn't trying to insult Christians. No, no. It was what he was guy. trying to say was, like, anyone who's here that claims to be a Christian that's judging anything that we're doing on stage or... Anything anyone else is doing, you're a fucking hypocrite because you're at a bar getting drunk right. and in a fucking rock and roll. I think it was just the way it came out. And yeah, well, like, he was wasted. That's like, the man, thing. Man, fuck Christian people. Like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, that, that was fucking God, beautiful. I would have paid was money. And it was so that. beautiful, man. Like, but, was so drunk. But oh. the thing was, it was like, to me, that's beautiful. When people are raw, like, whenever you inhibit yourself like that and you put on a show, like, like, we just got into it, me, Ali, and Rob, with these guys that were trying to get into this band that we're doing. And they're like, dude, we should play, you know, we should do Maroon 5 and Avenged Sevenfold songs because, <coughs> you know, that's what, you know, I want to play stuff that makes girls wet. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me, bro? I'm like, you're 35 That makes old, me man. dry. I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> fucking, uh, anyone with a fucking brain would be Sahara dry. But, like, these fucking guys... And like I'm like, dude, I'm like, fuck pandering to the crowd. I'm like, if you play really great music that you enjoy and people can yeah, see you, how much you, you enjoy it yourself. and you play well exactly. and like, like you're you. in it, it's like, dude, like fuck yeah. I played fucking like weird cover songs at places and had people fucking totally into it. Like songs that Because the shit that speaks to your heart speaks to other people, but they shut the fuck up about it because like everybody would be I'm embarrassed, roll the window up, sing it, you know, with everything they got, and then uh. you get up there on stage and do that song, and they're like, Holy shit, this dude has the balls to do this song that's not cool or whatever and that's oh, fucking it, man. Cool. Yeah. Like I was like, no, I'm not. And it's cool, and that's yeah. exactly it. And it's because it's cool because you know it's not what everyone thinks is supposed to be cool. Yeah. You're supposed to cover Avenged Fo Sevenfold well, or whatever the fuck their name is. They, these uh, guys were like, like, like you know, like, and this was the sad part. They're like, I'm a fucking DJ, like, not a DJ, DJ, not a good DJ. I'm a wedding DJ, but like. What's fucking crazy is like these guys are going, You ever heard of Breaking Benjamin? I go, Nope. Like, you ever heard of this band? No. Do you know any Chevelle songs? I'm like, I've heard the name, no. And they're like, What's your favorite stained song? I'm like, I don't think I know a stained song. <laughs> no, none but, of them. And then like and then like it just like kept going. I go, Have you guys ever heard of and then like I'm, going, I'm like Curtis Mayfield? And they're like, No. Yeah. And I'm like, You guys never heard of um like just going down the list of like the Breeze and like like Leonard Skinner, no. Like we do that song. Yeah, like we just started Hills learning that song. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, and what was crazy? The guitar player guy was incredible. The guy Scott, he was incredible as far as being a Xerox machine. He was playing yeah. fucking Cliffs of Dover when I rocked in, like perfect, <laughs> like note for note, like song, fucking. Right? I, and I'm like, this, I'm like, this dude's ripping. I'm like, got excited. I'm like, yeah. this guy's a bad motherfucker. I'm like, hell yeah. But he couldn't jam. As soon, dude, like, I started fucking, like, because you know me, like, fucking, I just improv almost everything. Yeah. Like, I'm just, like, that sloppy that everything's just like, oh, okay. But it's not okay. sloppy, though. That's the thing. It's and, like, not sloppy. It's, it's more of a flow to it yeah. than just a, just. Well, it's like rapping for right. me. I like to freestyle more than I like to write. I feel yeah. the same way with the guitar. When you feel your shit and, like, you can see it when you're on stage. Like, feel I think shit. that's what draws people in. Yeah, like, people, <laughs> you know, they sense fakeness and they sense realness. And yeah. Yeah. Well, you want to know real. what, though? It's scary because, like, when you see, like, a lot of the pop music, like, I'm going to be doing, uh, Brett and I are both going to be working this uh, Kitsunera, and all the music they want is Kesha, Pitbull, oh, this and yeah. that. And I'm like, dude, I'm like, fucking, the reality is, is fucking talent and real shit gets slept on for this, like, manufactured shit, which makes me worry that there's too, many, too many manufactured yeah. minds walking around. So that really fucking are. Don't have an it, original fucking talent. thought in their body. <clears throat> it's about what's now. What's the fad? It's you just know? It's really fucking disheartening and kind of scary. You got sponsors. So we're going to go do another spot. We're going to talk to our other sponsor. I think it's a chicken restaurant or a steak restaurant. <laughs> I'm really not sure. But, um, Maybe chicken and steak. But uh, <laughs> when we come back, we got music from the mobile homies. Yeah, we got some mobile homies and coming, up. coming up. And we got some 10 year old Filipino boys. Where? Hello, my name is Atam Mbappe Tumba. I'm looking for the ambassador, but I cannot find him. I'm supposed to get him out of the hotel by 3 o'clock, your time. Excuse me, sir, do you know where the ambassador is? I don't understand what he says. Ambassador! Ambassador! 
Ambassador, it's me. It's me. Oh, oh. Ambassador, why? One. Ambassador, please. It is urgent. I never saw the ambassador again. But I met his daughter for a steak dinner and it was very nice. And I put my fingers in her vagina. Eat it, John! Stay back! Kiss the stake is! Damn right! Don't be the last! Man, fuck John's steakhouse, you big ass motherfuckers. Oh, hey, everybody, my name is Carlito, and just used to sweat all over my hands. I had to walk here because my ride had a prior engagement. I'm gonna tell you the truth about that bunk ass steakhouse. It straight tastes like nipples on a bitch, son. No, you want good ass food, you gotta go down to Bay Bay's Asian cuisine. That's right, on the corner of Route 1. Yeah, yeah, the play with the red sign. It said Bay Bay's Asian cuisine. And you go up in there, and everything's allowed inside. And they got, they got double deep fried general style chicken. You can get extra spicy, you can get french fries with that shit. You don't even have to eat that nasty ass rice with the eggs in it. Why the fuck you put eggs and rice? Fuck y'all! And fuck that steakhouse, you big ass white motherfucker! And fuck y'all! Product may actually contain rat. No one should eat it, babies. Hello. We hope you enjoyed the extended commercial break. Those two commercials speak to us about food. Food is good. Mm. This has nothing to do with food. This is Becky and Adam's band, the Mobile Homies. Check it out. We well, played with them before. It. Yeah, we and did. it was very erotic. <laughs> it was a very erotic adventure for us. Um, lactated twice. <laughs> <laughs> That's a while ago. And um, this is dedicated to my juicy nips. <laughs> <laughs> Directing and writing. Yeah, the and green screen there. I we have a green bit, screen. Yeah. yeah, so it was like uh, me, Adam, and Doug kind of just were like, "This is what's happening. This is what we're gonna do." Um, me and Adam did a lot of the editing. Yeah, it's awesome. So this is Randy and I's attempt at making a country song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Sucks and fucks. <laughs> I like it already. <laughs> 
My name is Pussy. You're too pussy. young, and that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Cletus Christopher Christ. It's like AKA. Yep. You're so fucked up. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, oh my God! Every part of this. Lady captain of the football team. She's five four, slipper and lean. Drink beers on the trampoline. <laughs> Dicks and cups and Jason Aldean. Think she was a long-coming queen. It's her first time between. No, not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Chopped her fucking leg off. <laughs> <laughs> She told me, hey man, no, I really do think I should go. Run out on the lead, I said. Hey, listen, I'm thinking tonight I'll make her laugh quite all right. I'll take you for some Derek Queen. You know what I mean. <laughs> Hardcore metal band Propane and they bring the fury. I met Adam a long time ago when he was at a band called Endorphin. And that's right, we smoked the blonde in your car. Yep. And the funny thing was, we like all barely remember it because I was eating Tylenol PM. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I barely remember it, but I wasn't eating Tylenol PM. Yeah, I can't even imagine that. eating Tylenol I was snorting PM. Robitussin at the time. Yeah, or just microwaving and snorting lines. <laughs> No, but fucking dude, like fucking, I remember fucking Jimmy found me in the hallway and yeah. he's like, dude, do you know anyone that's got weed? I'm like, I got a bunch of weed. He's like, all right. 
And you guys smoked in my Cadillac, but I had a roach infestation. The roaches in the Cadillac. <laughs> and as soon as like, we opened Remember? the door, you guys were like, dude, your car just like moved. I'm like, yeah, they won't come out. Those just pass cool. it to them. Don't skip them in the rotation. <laughs> <They'll be cool. laughs> dude, those fucking... Then he put lizards in there to eat the roaches. <laughs> then the, and then the cats to eat the lizards. <laughs> the dogs. Oh, and then the goats to eat the dogs and the elephants to eat the goats. The worst part was the lizards ended up staying in the car to the end. Really? I couldn't get them out, bro. They ate me like fucking like 3,000 fucking roaches in that car. They ate all of them. And then finally I was like, dude, like there's one curly tail. I was like this big and he was like fucking mauling. Sitting on the back of the car. He's driving that shotgun bitch. I drive. Shotgun bitch. I drive. Yeah, that was the worst. We're going to get a new terrarium. I don't know what that means. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it probably was because the back seat, like from the back seat, like straight out on the floor, was just filled with McDonald's bags. Taco <laughs> <laughs> Bell bags with food still. No, nah, everyone knows animals don't eat those things. <laughs> <laughs> no, but after and a while, your windows left open when it rained one night or something. <laughs> well, dude. Okay. I left my sunroof open one night and it fucking oh, rained and I got in the car and it was like this oh, fucking deep in the car. It poured. It wasn't it like out. a raining night. Right, like that bad. sucks. You Start called style. me the next day on Skype and you know, on tour, and you were like, I, I did a stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> did what did you do? Thing. You're like, Well, the car is kind of flooded. <laughs> the car is what flooded. That, what do you mean what the car that? is flooded? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it took lots of bailing out. And then I had to like, I had to go do a job, so I was like, I just gotta deal with this job right now. And then when I came back, the car was like, somehow had drained out for the most part, and I just put a bunch of damper in there, and I was like, done. But it didn't like screw up any like, like, done. like the lights no. in your didn't fucking turn. No, it didn't turn, fuck anything yeah. up, and it went right through whatever miracle hole was in the bottom of the car, and then it was I like, I love how that can happen. What kind of car? Damp rid. It's Pontiac Sunfire. It's, Pontiac happened, Sunfire, waterproof. And it was like, <laughs> yeah, so you yeah. know, you can leave your moonroof open on your Pontiac si Sunfire. You're not good. recommended, but. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> recommend it. But I was like driving, and shit that was under the seat that I'd shoved under there was like floating around, like it was awful. <laughs> No, we're stuck watching this stupid advertisement. Or part of it, anyway. Well, I wanna... Hey, come on, man. He's not playing. We can talk through it. it. We yeah, can make like... fun of it. Oh, you got it. I'm looking at ball, yeah! See, now I'm wondering if he's on acid. After the acid, yeah. Yeah. Like, is this guy on acid? I got free application the for the ball playing, and <laughs> I'm gonna be the best little boy a man has ever been. I wanna oh. take pictures of the boys. I will let them be on my team while they do cartwheels and I take photographs of them. I like this large man. He's an older man. You're my friend. I like you a lot. <laughs> I want to drink your grape drink. <laughs> I'm Grimace without my costume on. Uh, I hope this is a mistake. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's get into something cool down here. Yeah. 
That's gonna be out of the new record. Savage. That's, that's so, awesome, man. That gets released at the end of this month, and then um, <clears throat> I think that's only for Europe and Japan, and then in America it's uh, at the beginning of December. That's awesome, man. Cool. So go pick up that new propane album. And don't burn yeah. it off of somebody. I know mm. we've done this too. No, that's it's why we're actually really releasing quiet. it. We're actually releasing it in like a, a special digipack that comes with a fucking poster and a book and yeah. all the shit, and it's released on vinyl. We're trying to stoop like. Steer people away from downloading it. Like, yeah. buy, it, like people are only gonna buy something if it's special these days. Right. You know. It's true. So yeah. we're trying to make it as special as we can. So feel free to download our music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, no, you guys are special in different. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you steal whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> yeah, we're happy to have people actually like us. So. I never plan on making money off my turtles music. <laughs> we ain't these money type of snobs that want you to pay for our blood, sweat, and tears. I just wanted to tell <laughs> like eventually. Yeah, you can fucking rip right, there's a YouTube downloading thingy, right? Fucking so you can just download our music. Download our music for free because fucking <laughs> why not? <laughs> so <laughs> should be the plug At least someone will be fucking listening to it. Besides us. <laughs> what are you plugging today? <laughs> Am I plugging? Yes. Shit, fucking we're all the toilet. Right, so all, this is an this is an advertisement moment. What are you plugging today? What's your main plug in life right my now? My main plug in Peterson's life parties. Well, Pearson's parties is my DJing and karaoke business. If you want to have a fun karaoke night, at your bar or venue or at your private function, you call me, I come, I sing a few Journey songs, I look at your daughter. <laughs> <laughs> good bitch, good bitch. You know, it's, it's, that's just, it is what it is. And that good we can know. Move, not music. You know, fucking, and then, like, you know, the, the big toilets. thing for me is, like, this is a lot of fun. I'm gonna be starting, I'm gonna start doing open mic again at improv and doing that really? shit again. Cool. Awesome. And definitely other be there. People, I miss getting paid for yelling at people on you stage. You have to let me know when you're doing it. Oh, yeah, no, we'll all go out and fucking. Yeah, and Adam's like, and as soon as you're doing it, I'll be out of town on tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have Adam by his side. Oh, he's do. missed birthdays, he's missing Thanksgiving this year. It's the life of, it's the life of a fucking G. Yeah. <laughs> trying to make some that's fucking money with his guitar, that's awesome. Thanks, man. But, yeah, no, fucking, just the DJ in business, comedy, fucking, you know, all my attempts at gynecology, fucking. <laughs> I don't, I don't have a fucking degree, so they fucking frown upon it. I'm like, what, I, I can't be a freelance guy at a college? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look, apparently all you need for my personal gynecological, not my own personal gynecological degree, <laughs> but being gynecologicalized on, Good all you need is speculum. <laughs> all on. you need is speculum, apparently. Just <laughs> look at it, look at it. Yeah, we know all about Touch the spectrum. It. All right, looks good. Thank you. Give me your money. You like that's it. That's all I gotta do. That's what it seems like. Dude, yeah. we should make a mobile gynecology thing called Twat Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, pull up in a Twat Doctor. Twat Doctor. Pull up in a fucking Volkswagen. Pull up in a fucking Volkswagen Jetta. Where the Twat Doctor? <laughs> Oh, no, it's not good. Looks good. Looks good. Oh, good. Holy shit. Mom, how about this? I think there's a picture of the Incredible Hulk in there. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, dude, twat doctors. Oh, no, Come visit us at twatdoctors.com. I'll put that That's in my probably phone. already a site. Hey, Brent, what are you right? plugging? It probably is a site. Your butthole? <laughs> <laughs> Your butthole.com, I'm pretty sure it's a site. <laughs> www.clownpainters.com. <laughs> Shameless plugs, um, toilets, of course. Um, 
uh, the foxtail butt plugs that my friend mesmerized. <coughs> so, Are they made? Or because I've been wanting to make a horsehair butt plug. They're foxtails. They're a butt plug with a foxtail. <laughs> a lot of animals out of those. Uh, Peterson parties again, DJing. Uh, Did you make them? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're plugging. I'm so rude. Speakeasy Lounge sucks. Propaganda sucks. <laughs> but I love all of you guys. Um, I'd like to thank Baby Jesus for no. helping us win this football game. And I'd like to thank my pastor, Milky White. I'd like, like to thank Mayor McCheese. <laughs> For existing. Nobody ever thinks Mayor McCheese. And no. employing. <laughs> our old boy, I thank him for. If it wasn't for him, how would Burger Town be around? And he's made of the cheese cheese chaos. He's, he's mayor for life in Burger Town. <laughs> he's the little right. McNuggets would take over everything. Thank God for the hamburger. <laughs> for giving Mayor McCheese a job. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to fight that fight Grimace fight for being a fucking retard. Purple Yo, thing. Grimace is precious. <laughs> and if you don't believe me, watch Grimace back in the 80s. And then my friends, nobody loved me. Grimace is like, I'm not food. Everyone else is food related. I'm purple. And he's made out, and Mary purple. Cheese is made out of a cheeseburger. Does this mean like you're, mm. I mean, what's a cheeseburger? It's, it's sole purpose in life is to it's be to eaten. Be eaten. Yeah. So our people Except the McDonald's want to live forever. No, because in McBurger Town, they would be cannibals. Yeah. They're yeah. all burgers. The Five Guys. They're made of Five Guys. It's like buying a pass from the Five Guys. Yeah. 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 It's like buying a pass from the Five Guys. What so I have to say... It's basically promoting... Can McDonald's promotes cannibalism. Yes, it does. You but heard Grimace it here. Is not, but Grimace is not a cheeseburger, so what the fuck? McDonald's sells chicken and jelly. End of story. Wait, so it could be a blob of great jelly, like yeah, but what do you that could jelly? be food. You put the jelly on the so what else are we putting before? If yeah, food is fake from McDonald's, oh, right? Like a cream. What are the chicken wings that they have now? Is that a fake bone in it? <laughs> <laughs> they have chicken wings now. Yeah, they have to get something real. All right, get all right, chicken. We're it has an actual it's chicken bone. I saw on Alex Jones yeah. that he uses a 3D printer. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> He has a 3D printer and he goes to Monsanto's headquarters every day and he 3D prints these fake chickens and they will give you asshole cancer. They will rip your nipples off. They will make you shit a steady stream of soft serve green ice cream out of your asshole. There's straight GMOs up in that bitch. I have a feeling that McDonald's is buying the bones for those fake chicken wings from and Tony the Bone Collector. It's a government conspiracy, Randy. He's I know. Responsibility of Tony the Bone Collector. It was Tony Bone. Yo, McDonald's. You can't suck a ton of a bitch. McDonald's, I got some good chicken wing size bones. I don't know what they came from. Now, see, the thing is, it's little chickens, but they're born with like eight wings. So they get these tiny little chicken wings. Eight wing chickens. Just like retard chicken. Random abomination. With eight wings. And we get, altered the DNA to have wings instead of nipples. Yes. So we've got rows of wings. Dude, they, they have chickens that have no heads. I've heard about that. They grow. That they the just grow and they're they're not alive. They just they they lose grow. Grow. They put like two tubes inside. Yeah, it, it keeps it, it going and flowing, everything yeah. in and out. But it grows and it doesn't even have a brain. I just, oh yeah, back to this. I got, I got, but there's a lot of things on this planet that grow and don't have brains. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that they're you know, not chicken. I have a feeling that although you can chop its head off and it still runs around. I'm not because ever. real chickens are so smart. <laughs> We're definitely getting this fucking group back again and doing this again. Because an hour's not enough. <laughs> Wait, we're done? You just fucking warmed up. We're doing plugs, yeah, that's right. We're, we're, plugs. Plugs. we're, plugs. we're, we're plugs. wrapping what up? We should keep the cameras going, it's not part of the show, but there might be some nuggets. <laughs> I got a nugget for right here. <laughs> He's calling them cheeseburgers. Oh, Much like an old tiny prospector. Hey, they General Sam, where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Much, Much like an old tiny prospector, you might have to sift through some nuggets. So you should keep the cameras rolling. Wait, wait, what are you plugging? <laughs> yes. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, wait, 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 I'm not plugging. No, oh, you're, you're up. You've been on this all the time. Surely you have something to plug. Oh, she is. This is this is. Oh, but I'm plugging. Plug anything. You plug. Uh, Not on the then you want to sell <laughs> something, something that's just awesome. That you're really just fucking. She's an artist. Right She's an artist. Then plug your She's art. Holy shit. Then plug your Heather art. Heather sells clown helmets and clown <laughs> helmet accessories. <laughs> yes. Clown accessories. Preventing funny injuries. <laughs> 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 Tired of whiplash from pie accidents? Oh, no! 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 Oh,
For the makers of clown hats. <laughs> Rubber chicken accidents. <laughs> clown Order now for Clown Depot. Say twenty percent. Hat Clown Depot. Cause <laughs> why not? <laughs> there should be an ad for like clown attorneys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it'll be done. Rubber nose, can you know the rest? It'll already be a I, commercial right after. Rubber chicken accident. Clown, injured by it has to be the over at still that same over acting like him. Yeah. Like yeah, something yeah, hard. Like you're trying to cut something, you're just like. <laughs> Have your children in your family members been assaulted by a child entertainer, a clown? <laughs> <laughs> you kids, show me the respect I deserve. <laughs> 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 Pain and suffering. You're not funny, clown. I'll kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> My son has PTSD. He's got a great patch in his hand. <laughs> Rudy, what did the clown do? He stabbed me right in my asshole and yelled at me, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> so, Becky, what are you doing this week? Pain yeah. and suffering from being crammed into a clown. <laughs> <laughs> I've that many people. He's like in knees. He's like, oh. Yeah, everybody's crammed <laughs> together. Ow! <laughs> Didn't you see that commercial for the earwax vacuuming? And oh, the yeah. Zoom? Ow! Yeah, he puts a Q-tip in his ear and just touches yeah, him. He's like, ow! Yeah, oh my god, that's hilarious. I fucking like These cried. These commercials are crazy, dude. Oh, I don't have Q-tips, he's like, oh! Yeah. Yeah. Like he's just rubbing it in his ear. Shut up. Of course it's gonna hurt, you dumb fuck. Yeah, dude. Man, you really gotta, bro. You really gotta sell this fight. All the doctors say, don't. You really gotta sell it. These Q-tips are bad. Q-tips killed your mother. What? You killed your mother and raped your father in front of you. What? They do it twice in the commercial. They don't show the 20. Like, you know, I watch it, I'm like, I can't wait for it to come back. Right <laughs> 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 he's doing this song for the last hour. I think they did it again. Yeah. I was so in love like, with it. Like, they were filming. They're like, cut. That was perfect. I remember that was, was so like, brilliant. you gotta see this fucking commercial. I was like, please, YouTube, don't fail me now. And, like, they had it, but it was the dude going, ow, ow. But you kind of need the real commercial because it builds it up. Yeah. You know, you need the, you know. <laughs> so we found the real commercial. Are you tired of not being able to hear shit? Search earwax vacuum. <laughs> earwax vacuum <laughs> ow on YouTube. Did I just got you down? <laughs> <laughs> and this is where you should insert that video. All right. Ow, ow, ow. All right. We so, have one more thing. Oh, we have the plug. Yeah, we're still plugging. Yeah, we're still plugging. Right. We're still plugging. All right. Away. I would plug the reality <laughs> show that I may or may not be on, but I cannot talk about it. Okay. Any shows that coming really up? That sounds really lame. But uh, oh, I wanted to plug my art show. I can talk about that. Yeah. Facebook.com uh, slash art by Becky. Okay. And it's called Bex Art. There'll be Bex links art. in the bottom. Oh, yeah. links. We fancy. We're gonna give you a link. You're gonna find her. You're gonna, like, you're gonna buy a cake. Screen right now. You're gonna get a mural done. You're gonna buy a cake. And then you're gonna have me uh, do comedy in your living room. I'm gonna talk to you. <laughs> while you, while you, especially cakes, cakes, whatever you know, cakes. whatever you need. And, and the cakes you? are on there too. The cakes. The cakes. I candy. I candy, said the I candy cakes. sugar. The company's called I Candy Sugar. You can find I Candy Sugar on Facebook. Cool. A very there you go. sexy. Cake what's done. what's <laughs> on in the works for uh, propane? Here. Propane. The new record's called The Final Revolution. It should be out between November, if you're in Europe, or December, January, if you're in the States and anywhere else. Um, what else should I plug? Mobile Homies. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Shows oh, coming yeah. There's shows coming up. I'm going to be missing a couple shows. I'm on tour. Okay. But uh, but we do have an album coming out called yeah, The Low Falutin High Jinx of the Mobile Homies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. buy that record. And, and don't work. burn that album either. Fucking buy it. It's cheap. You could probably talk us down to, you know. Buy their music. <laughs> Stay alive. <laughs> Thank you. So we'll plug the Mobile Homies, uh, Southland Audio, uh, Speaking Volumes, Adage, and their podcast, Adage Says Words. Cool. Dad's House Confessions? Yes. Hell yeah. Woo, woo. Randy, anything, buddy? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I just wanted to leave on a fucking really good note. I wanted to show everyone Matt Damon yelling at another actor. Yes. Yes. You guys rolling, got speed. Okay. And action, Adrian. I love you. Many kids are. No food, no water, no school, no future. When I grow up, I'm a change. Ah. 
Maybe trying too hard or you're not trying hard enough. I don't know what the fucking problem is. But let's go. It's fucking five lines, man. Okay. Well, maybe, maybe you give me a line reading. I don't want to give you a line reading. If I wanted to give you a line reading, I'd just fucking get in front of the camera and do it. You know what? Well, you should get fucking smart, dude. Like if you don't want to do it, walk away. I'll get someone who can do it. I'm a big superstar. Fuck you, man. No, no, come on, come on, come on. It's okay. No, no, no. you. Well, quiet, please. Please. If you don't need to be here, go to fucking lunch, please. Hey, baby. You're up. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. Your husband's asleep. And you watch the TV. And you sit up and you wait for a real man to come. Well, you cannot wait for a man to come. You need to call man. Call 1-800-GEORGE. Six, nine. I come right to your house and I spread exotic oils all over your hind quarters and then I take you in my arms um, and then I okay I've never done this before I've never had sex with anyone in my whole life and I've just been trying so hard to to meet someone who make love to me and I have all this money because my father owns three gas stations in the tri-state area and, and I just want to just and my name is not my name is my, my name is Pakir and, and I just want someone to meet me and come and be with me and be be my me, my friend and, and make love to me I, I want to be my be, be with me but, but no one ever comes so I have to make this stupid fucking commercial they put so much fucking pressure on me to sound sexy sound sexy sound sexy Go to the mic, look at the microphone, look at the microphone like it's a woman's eyes. It's, I don't want to look at the fucking microphone like it's a woman's eyes. I want to meet a nice girl, but nobody's nice girl wants to fucking go at me. Baby. I'm brown, I'm brown. I look like a California racing if it had chemotherapy. It's disgusting. I just want to be someone's friend. Thank you. Call 1 800 George 69. This has been a paid advertisement for Michelle Bachman 2016. Hell, man, if you're going to vote for anyone in this presidential race in this great country that brought us such liberties as Taco Bell, might as well be the sweet-titted brunette. Look all good with them glasses on, stick it right in her cone shit. I tell you what. Hey, damn straight, Greg, throw me a natter light. Because there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. The way Glenn Miller played Songs that made the hit parade Guys like us, we had it made Those, Those were, were the days. days And you knew where you were then Guys were girls and men were men Mister, we could use, use a man, man like Jaime Hoover again Didn't need no welfare states Everybody pulled his weight. G.R. Holt was sour and great. The 